Neighbors and strangers team up to save a Titusville tradition. Every holiday season, this waterfront home transforms with thousands of Christmas lights, but this year, the organizer said he couldn't put it up. New Sixes Amanda Castro shows us how hundreds of people stepped up to get results for him. Don't jinx it. That's the sound of Santa's elves hard at work, making sure the lights of this holiday tradition turn on this year. So many people in the community heard about it and have been willing to come and help. The beloved display on Bowstring Court in North Titusville went dark. Jeremy Loxo says life happened and he didn't have time to hang the hundreds of thousands of lights that cover his home. There's nothing I could do because I was at the point where there was no way I could do it because it takes me six weeks at least to do it. The community saddened to learn this Christmas spectacle wasn't going to happen, so they're getting results. Strangers showing up to the home Saturday, untangling strands and testing bulbs. It's wrapped around itself. To hanging lights and trees and climbing a massive ladder to build a light wall. Loxo's stepdaughter, Jennifer Taylor, says this outpouring of support shows just how much joy this display brings to the community. It's really neat to know that this is has been so special to so many people. She says it's going to take a Christmas miracle to get the display done on time. Loxo hopeful they can do it, calling it a massive undertaking. Let's hope it all comes together because there's so much to do. But Taylor believes it will happen, saying the spirit of the season and what this display means to the thousands of people who come out every year to see it is motivating them. The community is wanting to see this through, so we're going to see after this weekend where we stand. And then, of course, after next weekend, and then if we need more help, I'm sure people will come out and help. In Brevard County, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.